Clouds are clusters of water droplets suspended into the atmosphere. They're visible when they're concentrated. Did you know that you can predict the weather for the next few hours simply by observing their shape? In this The Daily Eagle video, we're going to teach you how to differentiate the 10 main types of clouds. Let's start with the high clouds, which are those that form above 6,000 meters. Number 1. Cirrus Cirrus clouds are thin, filament-shaped clouds made up of exclusively ice crystals. When they appear on large surfaces and you can see how the wind moves them, it means that warmer airs are approaching with the possibility of rain between the next 24 and 36 hours. Number 2. Cirrocumulus Cirrocumulus clouds form a fairly dense white layer in the sky, forming a pattern of small all-white clouds without shadows. It's an unusual type of cloud to see as, when it appears, it means that there's a noticeable change in the weather that's approaching in less than 12 hours. Usually, it indicates a storm is coming. Number 3. Cirrostratus Cirrostratus forms a much more uniform and translucent layer than the previous. They are usually large and a strong lunar or solar halo can be seen when their light passes through them. Their presence means that moderate storms or warm fronts are coming. Now let's continue with the type of medium clouds which form at altitudes between 2000 and 7000 meters. Number 4. Altostratus this type of cloud forms a gray blanket that usually covers the entire sky in large spaces and does not cast any shadows on the ground. In some thin sections of the upper stratum, you can see the sun or the moon since they do not cover them completely. Number 5. Altocumulus Altocumulus clouds are shaped like small coiled masses. They resemble cirrocumulus in their regular pattern, but unlike them, they have darker part and lighter part. If they are observed in the first hours of a humid and warm day, it means that there will be a storm at the end of that day. Number 6. Nimbostratus Nimbostratus are a type of cloud that completely hides from the sun, forming a dense layer of dark gray clouds. If they appear, it means that it will rain. Lastly, we're going to take a look at the types of low clouds, which form below 2,000 meters. Number 7. Stratocumulus Stratocumulus are rows of rounded masses of considerable size, which are jumbled and have various shades of gray. This type of cloud lets you see the blue sky between the masses that it forms, and in general doesn't usually involve precipitation. Number 8. Strata The strata also forms a gray mantle, like the altostratus, but a much darker color. Normally, their presence brings light drizzles, although sometimes they can pass by without leaving any precipitation. Number 9. Cumulus These clouds are very striking and are also the most typical to draw, as they look like pieces of cotton with rounded shapes and dome-shaped or small tower tips. When its upward development is small or short, it means that there will be good weather. Number 10. Cumulonimbus When cumulus clouds grow very high, they can form cumulonimbus clouds, which are impressive clouds with a dark base. These can be found just over 500 meters above the ground and can reach altitudes of 10,000 meters. Cumulonimbus can cause precipitations of all kind, since they contain water at the base and ice at the top. Now that you know the different types of clouds, it's time to learn how clouds are formed. How do clouds form? Firstly, the sun evaporates large amounts of water from the seas, oceans, rivers, and lakes. In turn, the plants also absorb moisture from the ground and emit water vapor into the atmosphere. Then the air that absorbs all this moisture becomes humid and hot air rises to the highest layers of the atmosphere, cooling in the process of ascent. And lastly, the water vapor condenses into microscopic droplets. When these droplets are concentrated in sufficient quantity, they can be seen as a cloud. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to learn more about other topics in ecology. We'll see you in the next video.